stopping by for another video. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. I want to share some little projects that I've been working on. These first ones are some really cute uh, gift bowls. I got the tutorial from Natalie who's put some bling on it and I did share some previously in a swap with Natasha who's Polite Creations and also with Deanna and she's Dee's Crafts. These right here I just didn't put the centers in. I used some sequin mix that I got from Tanya who's I Dream by Tanya and all I did was put some hot glue in there and just dump the sequins in, let it sit for a little bit and just dumped it off. So those are the first two and I did share these on my Instagram under sharing more. There's the other little three. Love how those turned out. I did one with this really huge like pom-pom in the center. So all I did was like four strips and then put that in there with some hot glue. And then I did a few with these gold foam balls that I got in clearance from Michaels around Christmas time. And this paper has like a rose gold. So these are like a rose gold. And they also came in the pack with like pink. And then here's just a regular one that I did. Here's a huge one. And then here's one with that rose gold paper and I used a pearl. I also want to share some mermaids that I made with this stamp right here from Honeybee Stamps. And this is called Swimming By. I was inspired to make these the way I did by watching Don H. Creates. She had did a tag for the Julie Nutting Swap that she's doing with Donna Powered by Creativity. Um, Karen small crafting and sparkling char they're all the hosts of those swaps so this is the first one i had stamped these on some paint splatter paper that i have that i created these are the last two the, so the little top and the tails are done with the paint splatter paper and i just stamped them on this one's like on a craft paper and i just colored in the hair this one's like a cream paper and i just kind of shaded it in with my copics that one's on that um, cream paper and I just shaded that one in. And then that one was on the craft paper as well. But I really love how these turned out. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I'm thinking cards just because of some of the little sentiments on here, swimming by to say, and it says, hi, I miss you and happy birthday. So I'll probably use that on some cards that I'm gonna drop in some happy mail. And then the last thing I wanna share is a little loaded envelope that I had created. I had previously shared one in the um, VR project share that I did for Gina, who is, um, Gina loves to craft for her challenge. Um, the only difference between this one and that one is that I put flaps on the one that I sent to um, Gina for the pockets. But this is what I was inspired by. This is one that I had won from um, Lisa, and I will link her channel down below. But I won that like last year. I just kept it because I did want to create something. Um, and kind of study how it was made but this is the one that I created first before creating the one I did for Gina and this is using this romance romantic life paper this DCWV so here's how it looks it has a pocket here in the back I just used a um, circle punch to do a little tab there's a little piece of ephemera that says the small things. This flower was given to me in a swap, and this label I already had um, die cut out. I just used some of the cut aparts and put them there, and then I'll put something in that pocket. Then it has a pocket here in the top, and then I just use my tab there. And then there's this big pocket here in the front. And this centerpiece is about one inch, and then this one up here is about one inch. So the front and back kind of connect, and it forms this... Um, Thing down here on the bottom to just kind of hold everything in. I just layered some ephemera pieces from the paper pad and a, um, I made this corrugated board flag, some other little pieces that I already had cut out. So I made this little file folder that I'm gonna put some embellishments in and then I made another little kind of side pocket here and this one says wishing you the happiest of days. That was just an ephemera piece I had. I put some of the cut aparts in there and that's some other little ephemera. I had stamped that a while back and I just used that in that little picture frame. And it says, live with passion, laugh out loud, love deeply. So love how that turned out. Probably just gonna send some flat mail in here. I'm not sure. I was just trying to figure out something to house Gina's memory decks in and I ended up coming up with something and I really like how that one turned out. So if you have not seen that project share, um, video response video I will leave that link down below 
And that's all I have to share in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day.